Go ahead, be late. You know, your ex-girlfriend's not going to dump you again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're good. All right, I know this is family friendly, and I'm a little nervous, so don't get mad at me. I hope it's okay if I say the R word. I'm a realtor. I have a lot of confidence. I'm good at opening, good at flirting, but I suck at closing. I'm kind of like the Dallas Cowboys of dating. Hey, girl! Whenever a girl comes at me for my weight, I tell her I'm a comedian. They don't always understand, but when I get naked, they laugh. I don't mind the gym. I know, it looks like it, right? I just can't stand when you have to clean up the equipment. I never know exactly what to do, and I'm no professional. And I just feel really, like, suggestive, you know, like... So sometimes I mess with them, like, if I catch someone, you know, looking in my eyes, and I'll just be like... Yeah, it's kind of fitness, so no judging. One time I dated a girl who was cross-eyed. She was beautiful, but I got jealous because she kept eyeballing other guys. I tried to donate sperm the other day. They said they were all set. I knew I was gonna have a rough day when my horoscope said good luck. Mustaches are cool, but they're also weird. I found that people with mustaches are either dating someone, gay, or a pedophile. Just the mustache, not the goat too, my man. You see, I got the goat. But if someone with a mustache isn't gay and they're single, stay away from my kids, you creep. One time I drunk texted my ex. The next morning she said, I think you have a problem. Before I could apologize, she said, my husband died at detox, you really should get some help. So I said, you wanna get a drink? Blocked. My dad's a nice guy, he's a happy guy. He loves everyone except for NFL refs, bad drivers, dumb people, people from New York, and Joe Biden. He's really nice, he's like Santa Claus. But if Santa Claus watched Fox News and voted for Trump, we don't always agree. He's not racist, he's actually a heightist. Yeah, he's afraid of little people. I once dated a legal midget. She was four foot 11, and I forgot I told her that my dad's afraid of little people. After a few dates, she asked me if I told my dad about her. Awkwardly, I asked, because you're black? That was the last time I saw her. I had a girlfriend once who smoked weed. She thought her legs were on backwards. She didn't know she was coming or going. That girl was crazy. <laughs> Most older brothers will like leave their brothers in the shadows, but my younger brother likes to one-up me. I used to smoke weed. He smokes and microdoses. I wrote music. He writes music and plays guitar. Last week, I tried to pick up a 46-year-old, and just yesterday, he banged a 67-year-old. Man, he's talented. Sometimes he mixes up words. She said that she was a Jehovah Witness, and he thought it was a specific type of witness protection. Do you know how a 67-year-old woman has a smoking hot body? Yeah. Cremation. Yeah, my dad's, my, no, my stepdad sucked. Yeah, he used to beat me at Monopoly. He used to cheat all the time on my mom. I think Italy's the most racist country. Have you ever met a black person from Italy? Like really? Have you ever met an Asian person from Italy? If you did, would they eat noodles or pasta? Soy sauce or tomato? I suck at golf. I'm pretty bad and I'm also cheap, so I try to get free lessons when I go to the driving range. This one time this lady was hitting it left, hitting it right, hitting it left, and just couldn't get it down the middle. So the golf instructor said, try to hold the club like you're holding your boyfriends, you know. So sure enough, she's hitting them straight down the middle. Whoa, 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 straight as can be. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. And he goes, yeah, that's great, but if you want to add distance, take the club out of your mouth. Back in Boston, I used to take the bus and, uh, you know, all sorts of wild people kind of get on there, you know, you get all sorts of stories and stuff like that. And this one time, I don't know if she was deaf or you know crazy, but she comes on the bus and she goes to the bus driver and the bus driver goes, so she goes, and then he goes, and she goes, and gets off the bus. And I'm so confused like you all are, right? So I'm like, what the hell was that, you know, bus driver? 
what's up with that lady? Like, something wrong with her? That's not sign language, anything I've seen. He goes, well, she has a Boston accent. So what she said, is this going downtown? So he said, no, uptown. She said, the dairy? He goes, no, the ballpark. She goes, shit, I'm on the wrong bus. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.